Enclosing spondylitis is no joke and it's not to be messed with. It's four in the morning. I'm off to the gym. It's Sunday morning because I just couldn't sleep. My low back was killing me. Both hips were killing me. I couldn't get in a good position. This has happened a lot to me over the years with the sciatica, with the low back pain. And what happens is it seems like a domino effect, right? The past two weeks, my low back's been hurting a lot more. You know, I'm not sure why. Sometimes part of this is just for no reason, things can hurt a little more if you're dealing with the inflammation in the body, spondylitis. For me, the bilateral sacralitis, the inflammation in my SI joints can cause my low back to hurt, which causes sciatica. And once I get sciatica on one side, I'm limping around, then I end up getting it on the other side. So that's what's happening now. I've been dealing with this hip pain in the right hip for about a week, and now I'm dealing it dealing with it on the left side too. So this can kind of happen with enclosing spondylitis. And a big part of my channel is how do we stay active? How do, I, how do we keep a healthy mindset living with the flares, living with ankylosing spondylitis? You know, I've managed to stay healthy throughout the years with AS, um, but it's been difficult. So I wanted to start this channel because a lot of people are dealing with similar things where, you know, maybe they start working out, maybe they start feeling good, eating healthy, but then something like this comes on, right? They're up in the middle of the night. No one wants to be up at this time. You know, being up at 4 a.m., I get up early a lot. I go to the gym and I mostly go to the gym to use the sauna, to use the whirlpool, Do because I do these things because I feel like I have to. Um, I'm not motivated to work out at this time. A lot of my videos are kind of easy stretching routines to get the body going for a reason because it's really hard to get going. So I wanted to start this channel because a lot of folks are dealing with similar difficulties with enclosing spondylitis, with joint pain. And it's kind of like, I expect these things at this point. And a lot of this is you have to expect some of these things for out of nowhere, the low back to hurt. And you know, what I want to continue to show is how do we keep going? And that doesn't mean wake up before I am and go to the gym, but this is always a good reminder why I started the channel. You know, I'm really struggling. It's four in the morning. I would have went to the gym earlier, actually. It doesn't open till five. Had to stop at Duncan, of course, but they changed the hours. It used to open at four, now it opens at five. I would have went earlier because I just couldn't sit in bed anymore. You know, rest, I wasn't resting tonight. So I gotta go break up the tension somehow, sit in the whirlpool, relax the low back a little bit, do some gentle stretching. But this is why I started the channel, to keep going. How do we keep going through things like this? So I'm gonna keep you updated. Let's see what we can do this morning.